Welcome to another episode of Wine and State. Today, Jessica is joining us. She is the GM for Little Doms. She's going to tell us all about this wonderful place in Los Feliz. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Angela. Thanks for having me. Of course. Thanks for, thanks for having me. Uh, so nice to have you on our new extension patio. <laughs> I know. You were telling me that you guys were one of the first that the city gave permission to create this space. Can you tell us about that? Yeah. So uh, we were very fortunate and we applied for the Alfresco permit, which is a citywide program that's helping with extension seating for restaurants and businesses. Um, and we're the first place in Los Feliz to get one. And we feel really excited to be able to do that because we've been a part of the, the Los Feliz community for so long. And, yeah. and we're going on almost 13 years of being here. And this community means a lot to us. And you know, we haven't closed our doors even one day in this pandemic because we really wanted to quickly transform into a space that um, could respond and help feed the community uh, through the heart and the belly. And, um, you know, so I think that we're all doing what we can and it's a little uncomfortable sometimes, but hopefully here, once you're seated and you're sitting down, everything feels a little bit more normal. Yeah, and you guys are providing a, a lot of comfort, right, at the same time, because I think preserving some aspect of real life, it's, it's good Yeah, <laughs> during yeah. these crazy times. So we thank you for keeping oh, that, that alive. You. And can you tell us a little bit about Little Dom's, like its beginnings, um, sure. its inspirations, a little bit about the food. Why is it that Los Feliz and people from all over LA come to this place and love it so much? Well, I think, so originally we had ownership of a location called Dominic's on the west side, and it has rich old Hollywood history. And we loved that location so much, but um, ownership and, and most of us that worked for Dominic's kind of lived on the east side, and we really wanted to bring something to the east side that felt like that. So we built out Little Dom's, and um, it was really to, you know, the, the, the ethos of what we do is really kind of like to cultivate a lovely, comfortable space um, and have an experiential place where people can, you know, have their first date and fall in love and I can't tell you how many like engagements we've done and their friends can gather and it feels like a comfortable place that you could go to regularly your neighborhood yes you know watering hole your neighborhood go-to spot I would say it's your upscale neighborhood go-to place it, <laughs> it feels like it feels like let me put on some lipstick to go to Little Dom's but it is quite lovely thank you well I hope that anybody feels that they could come here comfortably relaxed in their <laughs> white t-shirt and denim but also totally dressed to the night yes so. And can you tell us a little bit about the cuisine? What type of cuisine do you guys Sure. Have? So the, um, the executive chef, Brandon Boudet, he's from New Orleans, and he's uh, Italian from New Orleans. And then the owner is also Italian, but from California. So they were what they thought was kind of like a Californian and Italian cuisine. We do have a little bit more of a Roman-style influence in our Italian side of food. So we have the Cacio e Pepe. We do very, very thin pizzas um, for our wood fire oven. Um, but you'll see like so many of these like very like beautifully organic, natural, um, these beautiful California ingredients. So anything yes. that's like seasonally available in the market, we really try to feature. Um, but we also have this very fun, playful New Orleans influence. So we do a lot of things themed around like Mardi Gras menus and um, you know crawfish uh, with pasta because that is very uh, beholden to who Big Zach Chef is. Everything is absolutely delicious all the time. <laughs> can you tell us about your brunch? Because it's also very much of a weekend staple where you can just walk around, can maybe go into a hike, and then come back and have a nice meal to, to polish off your Sunday, so to speak. Yeah, thanks. Um, I would say that, you know, one thing that we do really well is uh, some fiddle hall on holidays. So if you come down and get some uh, eggs funky with mushrooms and poached eggs or a steak and eggs, you get a nice hearty breakfast. But um, Probably the ricotta blueberry pancakes are the thing we're They're most the known one. for. <laughs> <laughs> um, and after a hike, who doesn't want that? With I've, maybe seen some a, Prosecco. <laughs> I've seen a celebrity or two talking about the ricotta pancakes. They're yeah. that excellent. Uh, yes, we're very lucky. We have a, um, we definitely have a great local clientele, and part of that includes a really uh, beautiful and interesting artistic that kind of comes down. Regularity, you know, this this yeah. neighborhood is so regular. down the street on Talmadge or you live up in the hill in Los Feliz and we're really grateful for that regularity and that um, community. Yeah, the beautiful sense of community is something that, you know, 
all, all of us that live in Los Feliz, that live in the, you know, Los Feliz, Silver Lake, Echo Park, Hollywood area, so to yeah. speak, this east side, um, are very much tight-knit in that sense. And that was actually my next question. How is your community sense with other business in the area? Yeah, I think, you know, we definitely engage with, a, a lot of us go out and support other businesses. Yeah. Um, bars not being open right now, you know, that's yeah. a very popular thing for my staff is to go down and uh, go to Pavel or have a glass of wine after a shift or get together and maybe go to the Luck Bar, which is no longer sure. there. Um, but we also, you know, know our neighbors like the Reckless Unicorn really well, and so we go on over there every time we need a gift for our baby being born. <laughs> um, and uh, Annie comes in and supports us at Little Dom's. And, you know, in this time, I think we've all kind of checked in on each other a bit, like, what do you need? And for a while, we had a needs-based grocery when grocery stores were difficult, and, you know, it was like kind of checking in with the neighbors. What do you need? We have it. Let us know. We can help you. I love that. I think that's also very important what makes this neighborhood this neighborhood. Yeah. Can you tell me what I'm drinking today? This is a Prosecco, yes. correct? This is. You're drinking the Bel Castell. It's a new Prosecco tart menu. I think it's very, very nice. It's going to be really crisp, a little brioche -y. Um, There's really, it's very dry, but it's a great, like, daytime go-to, and it makes it mean the most. Oh, yeah. It's perfect summertime drink. <laughs> So thank you so much for having us today. Thank you. Can you tell everyone to come visit you guys? Oh, please, come and visit us. You can make reservations through our website. Uh, you can give us a call. We're so excited to see you. And um, 